Hi, my name is Wilson, and today we're going to be talking about reading long iMessages without sending read receipts. Long iMessages are the ones that are cut off from the notification banner and on the lock screen. If you haven't watched my first video about reading by previews, have a look there first. If you double press the home button, you can look at the whole message under the recently used apps screen. The problem is if you receive a message from somebody else, you will be sent back to the general messages screen and will no longer be able to read the message in its entirety. If you have a 3D touch enabled device, you can press hard on the message and peek into it without sending a read receipt. There is a limitation though. You won't be able to scroll on the conversation on the peek screen. This means you will not be able to read exceptionally long messages in their entirety. If you have a second iPhone or an iPad and both of them are signed into the same Apple ID, there is a solution. You need to have this set up before you receive the messages. To do this, go ahead and click onto settings, and then messages. You want to make sure iMessage is enabled. Click on use your Apple ID for iMessage and fill that in. Likewise, for an iPad, just fill in your details. If your second device is an iPhone with an active number, click on send and receive and then enter your other credentials. If you have all this set up, go ahead and turn on airplane mode and read the message. Don't type from this device. Any typing indicators or replies without a read receipt for the previous message will make it look like you are doing something sneaky. You will not be able to send a read receipt from this device because iMessage does not resend receipts when the internet connection is restored. Send the read receipt from the other device before replying or wait for another message to come in so that you can reply from the first device.